So with vitamin D, it doesn't directly, actually none of these work directly on the virus. It's about the immune system. And we need to convert the inactive uh, D2 to D3. And this is why, because the conversion is slow, or it's inhibited in some people, this is why, especially in this time, I like to recommend taking an actual D3 supplement rather than just relying on the sunlight. And there is a ton of research on vitamin D and the immune system, and also even on H1N1, which was the first pandemic of the 21st century. But what really interests me is a study by the Business Medical Journal that suggests a daily or even a weekly supplementation of vitamin D can cut the risk of respiratory infection in half, whereas a big one-off dose is, is not as effective. And so this is why for myself, I am taking vitamin D in, I'd say, lower doses throughout the entire year and maybe upping the dose in flu season and also checking my vitamin D3 levels regularly. So I make sure, I'm making sure that I'm in the optimal range. The daily dose that was recorded in this study is 800 to 2000 IUs. Now this it doesn't say the demographic of these participants, but especially in Asia, a lot of us are deficient in vitamin D3. And so my dose personally in this pandemic is at 5,000 IUs per day, and you're doing it consistently and daily. And this study is showing that consistent daily supplementation of D3 is much more effective than just a one-off dose of say 50,000, which I know some doctors are giving, you know, even a shot of vitamin D 50,000 and letting that run for the week. But yeah, this study shows that uh, consistency is the way to go for D3 and respiratory tract infection. Stay safe, everyone. Be healthy. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like, subscribe to our channel. All the research are in the show notes below. And a much extended version of this is in the blog. Take care.